So we've got another foot champs of a team. The question is, which nation are we going for today? It is none other than Brazil. And for this one, you do actually get a Mario Gomez 96. Finally, a big upgrade for him. Obviously, it's going to be quite difficult to, to get him, but I think Brazil do have a pretty spectacular team if you've got one of their best, especially if we are looking at any of the icons. But the question is, do we get any other player? Because I've not looked at it yet. We've got play free for an 83 times free, play six for an 84 times two, 83 times 10, 85 times 2, 83 times 20, 84, 84, 86. So we only get one player for this again. Now, the way that you've got to do this, like all of the others, is by using a full squad of Brazilian players, that is bench and also the starting lineup, in playing three matches. Uh, I think all 11 is playing in any champs game mode, so qualifications or finals. And then the win matches are just going to be in the finals. So the 20 weekend league, that is where you've got to get the 4, 6, 10 and 12 to get Mario Gomez. Now, the big question is, what Brazil team can you get? The SBCs, I wouldn't say R9 is going to be worth going to do for this if you haven't got a striker. But I wanted to see just generically who have we got SBCs in. As I don't think we've got really many to go with here. So obviously there is going to be R9 still available. Carfu is going to be a decent one, but quite expensive for a right back to get out now. R9 has got seven days left, but don't bother doing that. That's It makes no sense. One, one thing that we do have is an evolution in the Brazil League, so uh, we can obviously use this one that will be able to make an 86 Brazilian player into a 95, so that's always a great bonus that you can go for straight away. Uh, you've got Netherlands, you've got Academy, that one would have had Richarlison in, so if you've done him, obviously that's another one that you can go for. Same with any of the defenders, uh, you and the Euros of the Euros. So, And then I think you've got the two paid-for ones as well, which I've finished, that you could put a Brazil player in as well. So let's have a look and see what sort of Brazilian squad we could make, and then what the best one is going to be. So, Brazil. So we'll just go a bra, just to get it out of the way, and let's have a look at what squad we could make then. I don't know if... I, I know I've got a lone Allison, so... Well, in fact, we've got the 94. Try and use it. Well, to be fair, I could go for the 95, as we do have 52 matches with him. Ooh, Carfu, Alberto. So we don't have the full 20 there. Centre-back-wise, we have got Thiago Silva. Um, and then I'd probably have to mix a lot of these lone cards. We'll go with Gabriel to start with. Um, and then... Did I not have a Roberto Carlos? I thought I did, to be honest. So we've got another loan going in. Then we've obviously got Rafinha from the season pass, which is always nice. We've got a lot of right mids we could go for. In the midfield, we obviously have got Edison from the showdown. Was an easy choice to go for. And then pairing him up with... Because he's kind of more my box-to-box. -box. Have we got anybody else that's... On a level, uh, Casemiro is another shout from the Copper Evolutions. We'll go with Dabina. Just because I'm using Savio, I can... Am oh, okay, maybe not using Savio there. So we've got Ronaldinho or Vinny. I'm going to go Ronaldinho because I know Vinny can play the striking role. And then we do have R9. Now, if I was to go with a bench and see what sort of squad we've got without. Um, if we go loans on... Let's have a look and see. So we've got Pele. Oh, no. In fact, did we go loans off, in fact? Because, obviously, loan, that's, that's what I was going with. So we've already got Dabina, uh, Savio, Felipe Anderson. We've got a half-finished Rodrigo there. Uh, Allison, I suppose, is there. We've got Neymar, Neymar that we could put on. Uh, we've got another version of Savio. Why not? And then I think that's pretty much it. Obviously, I've got Richarlison and Casemiro still to do. And then also Martinelli can sit in there as well. So that's... Not terrible. Uh, again, that is probably one of the better teams I've got for Brazil. Most definitely for uh, for the 12 wins. But it's still going to be a little bit of a grind. I must admit, I've played champs all weeks. And I don't think... I think I've seen one Portuguese squad. I didn't... I've not seen any other people do this requirement yet. Maybe just not going up against them. Um, let's just go over a random name. And now this would be the Brazil squad you could get at the absolute maximum. Now, I think Alisson is going to be number one in there. We then also have that Carfu. Uh, we'll obviously go right wing back to get him. He is by far the best option you can go for. Center backs, we'll go with Militao and we'll go with... 
I'm gonna say Thiago Silva. I think he's got to be one of them. Obviously, Roberto Carlos at left back, quite an easy option. Right wing, I want to say it might actually be, oh no, it'd be Rodrigo, of course it would be. I was going to say it's either Rafinha or Rodrigo there. Midfield wise, we shall go with, ooh, I'm going to say a bit of Bruno G. I think that's quite an easy one. Then, if I'm keeping it balanced as much as possible, I'd probably go... See, Zico's great, but in, in a very balanced cam. I think, you know what, we'll go with Bruno G as the kind of DM there. And then we'll obviously go with left wing. And it's it's an obvious answer for, for Ronaldinho there. Now, obviously, there is going to be a lot of high-end kind of bench players here. Because you've obviously got to go for R9 first. And then, would I go for the Pele? I think Pele's got to be the next shout with him, surely. Pele is, is, is number one in that field. So then on the bench, that's going to kind of relieve the pressure of the starting lineup. Bench-wise, you'd be looking at Rivaldo as definite option. I would, if you've got Rivaldo or any of these players, and if you've got every single one of these, you'd obviously try and find a fit for, Ron uh, for, for Rivaldo as well. He is just magical in this. Then we've obviously got Nene as a team of the season moments. We've got Rafinha. We've got Gabriel as an option. And then we shall pick... We already have a Ronaldinho. We'll go... You know what? We'll go a bit of Jan Kuto. Uh, Kuto. Not a bad option at all. So, oh, in fact, he's one more over. That would be the best Brazil team. It would also cost you upwards of 40 million. 50 million, including the bench, probably. Because R9 is extinct at 15. You've got like 10 mil for Ronaldinho. 5 mil for Rivaldo. 1.5 for... Uh, Zico, you, you're looking at 30 mil easily on all of them. I don't know how much Rodrigo is actually coming in at, to be honest. Uh, what is he? He is a... Is he a make your mark or is he a path to glory? I don't know, but he's he's going to be expensive. Let's go over the 2 mil mark. Yeah, uh, to be fair, he's only a mil, which actually is not terrible. Militao is obviously up there as well, but that's going to be the best Brazil team you can physically make. Um, objective with that team would be just easy as normal, but it's going to be a bit of a grind. I must admit, I do like that they're giving us a hero for it. I wish there was a second player in here as well. I think I don't get why we don't have that second player also. It just makes no sense. I, I like having at least two players that are not easily gotten as such well maybe the play put him in play 11 but at the minimum i think the gomez definitely should stand and then somebody else as well but we know full well that it's going to be germany next week let me know how you get on